We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other thing, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. If Kennedy said, we will go to the moon uh, sometime before the century ends. <laughs> what is it? What is that? It's not ambition. That's pandering. We doubled the number of science graduates in this country during Apollo at every level, high school, college, PhD, doubled it. Uh, I think everyone was so proud of our country, so proud to be an American. It made everyone stand a little straighter and try a little harder and strive to reach a little farther. In 2010, the space shuttle, after nearly 30 years of duty, will be retired from service. By making sure that all those who work in the space industry in Florida do not lose their jobs when the shuttle is retired because we can't afford to lose their expertise. We don't have an ambitious space program because we don't have the money. Using the crew exploration vehicle, we will undertake extended human missions to the moon as early as 2015. In other words, what he was saying was, I think it'd be nice to go to the moon and the guy who follows me can do it if he wants to. Constellation was, uh, had some problems, had some technical issues, and uh, more importantly, had some serious budget issues. It never received the funding that was promised. Part of the problem is that from the public's point of view, they don't quite know what's going on in space. And you know, for a long time now, decades, we've had this space shuttle, and so they've been seeing videos of, uh, you know, astronauts juggling their food in zero G. Well, that's pretty interesting the first five times, but after that they wonder, well, you know, what's this buying me? What's this doing for me, the car buyer, <laughs> right? Now, we are in a situation in the United States with a little bit of an anti-science theme going. And that's not good. Our future is out there and here, but not just here. Weren't we supposed to go to Mars after Apollo? What happened? We're shortchanging our space program. That's what it's all about. If I had a business executive come to me and say they wanted to spend a few hundred billion dollars to put a colony on the moon, I'd say you're fired. By the mid-2030s, I believe we can send humans to orbit Mars and return them safely to Earth. Doesn't matter whether it's 2037 or 3037. It's beyond his time and therefore it's bunk. Double NASA's budget. Tomorrow we'll talk about where NASA's going in the next 10 years. Not the next 30, not the next 50. It's been estimated for every dollar you spend on NASA, you get $10 back. Space is hard, space is dangerous, space is exciting. I don't think we should go to the moon. I think we maybe should send some politicians up there. 